Hello friends out here tonight in northern Mexico at about 6 o'clock in the morning you can hear the roosters in the background. The sun's going to be rising here shortly and uh, working tonight again with the 10 micron GM 1000 HPS. Got a guide graft here going on. Uh, very good performance tonight. Um, if you come in and you look at the pattern here, uh, the distribution of the guiding points is uh, rather small. Almost uh, need to get this guide graph shut down to a uh, a different level where we can really see what's going on. The mount is doing so well. So this is uh, the top of the uh, one arc minute boundary. I mean one arc second boundary on the guiding and this is the bottom and as you can see the mount is doing very 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 well and um, the tonight we did a uh, model with model maker and uh, a pretty good RMS uh, this is 5.95 this is the distribution of my points I had uh, 30 points uh, in my model and uh, everything did pretty well here so very happy there's not much wind tonight this is an easier night and it is a new moon night so we've got an image that should be coming up here very shortly which is uh, NGC 4565 It's going to be coming up in about uh, 77 seconds. This is a little image uh, just kind of a preview to frame up the target. I have been doing some additional work on uh, NGC 3628 uh, capturing some more uh, luminance on this so tonight instead of doing 20 minute subs we're doing uh, just 10 minute subs so I was able to successfully capture 25 subs here as you can see these stars are nice and round beautiful stars Polar alignment with uh, QHY Pole Master. Polar alignment came in uh, just a little bit less than uh, one uh, arc minute. Let's come back over here, escape. Go to the menu and let's see what we got on our alignment. We have actually. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, well as we're going through this, line info, we've got 40 stars, polar alignment of less than one arc minute, and RMS of uh, 6.0. So, a real good model going on here. Here is the uh, 10 minute image of uh, NGC 4565. Uh, looks great. Let's pop into uh, let's blow it. Let's blow this up and get the crosshairs off of it. Let's see, what we got boy, those stars are pretty and round. Look at that, that is absolutely gorgeous. Let me back off a little bit on illumination here. Well, let's see what Maxim's going to say about our image. So let's pop this dude open, see if we can find it here. Okay, so let's look at uh, how our stars did and how flat they were. So, got a tool here to see the flatness of our stars. Okay, let's see the flatness of this one 0.48.
Well, that was 0 .048, 0 0.072. Point zero one nine. Some of these bigger stars are affected by the type of camera. I have an S Big 1603 ME, which is a non anti blooming camera. It is really a Galaxy Buster. Boy, look at the flatness. See this flatness over here? Look at the stars here. That's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous just gorgeous so uh, another great night under the stars and uh, beautiful sub of this galaxy very 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 handsome and uh, another great night under the stars a lot being accomplished very happy with the results and the mount this mount guides extremely well now, when I first purchased this mount, uh, I was told that this mount could do 30-minute uh, unguided subs with like a C11, like an 11-inch Edge HD. And I tried and tried and tried to do the unguided imaging. Just didn't work. Uh, but when I turned on the, uh, the guide scope, and I'm using a through the telescope guiding uh, off-access guider with my uh, S-Big camera. When I started doing that, I got phenomenal results out of this mount. So very, very happy with uh, the guiding performance of this mount and uh, just another great night under the stars. Thanks for watching.